Tableau 11, The Fabulous Limit Laws, Part 2. The law of large numbers in continuous spaces, computation a la Monte Carlo. The law of large numbers in the century and a half that followed its publication was extended widely. At its heart, it captures much of the intuitive content of the theory, to wit, that relative frequencies capture the essence of probability in long runs. To get an understanding of how this statement can be put in a very general context, I turn to the setting of continuous variables. This segment is intended for the student who wishes to say how a fundamental theoretical result can be extended widely and sits at the base of much of the theory of chance, preparatory perhaps to taking more courses in the subject. This is accordingly a dangerous bend lecture to be sampled as time and inclination allow at the student's discretion. For the student who is in a hurry to get her rest just stay, she should skip on promptly to Tableau 11, Part 3. For the others, carry on. Now, to extend the idea of the law of large numbers, we shall turn to continuous variables, and the student who has not already done so should take this opportunity to go back and revisit the dangerous bent tableau 6.2. With this for preparation, we shall be equipped to handle a generic law of large numbers in the continuum. Now, the algebraic detail is more pronounced to be sure, but if the student keeps her attention firmly focused on the essence of the Chebyshev argument that we'd encountered in the case of the binomial, then she will find that the argument more or less goes through seamlessly without essential change. But of course, we are going to need certain analogues of the key concepts we had seen in the development earlier. And accordingly, we will start with the consideration of continuous analogues of the idea of a probabilistic center of mass and the probabilistic moment of inertia in the continuum. The form that Chebyshev's inequality takes in the continuum and of course, you will recall that this captures the likely deviation of a continuous chance variable from its expectation. The idea of independent trials and independent chance variables in the continuum. We recall that independence is a rule of products. When you move to the continuum, then this rule of products is manifested, but in the context of densities. And finally, the subtle principle of additivity, which is an abiding principle which forms a skein or thread which runs right through the theory. And we will want to see how additivity is manifested in the continuum. We will take these in turn.